Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Just an Army Channel. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and share my content as it helps the channel grow. At this time, we are at 120 in subs, and my numbers are just going bonkers. So this episode is about Sam Raimi, Tommy McGuire, and Spider-Man coming together again. An interesting piece of information is out there, rumor or not, but Sam Raimi and Tommy McGuire are going to be working on Spider-Man again. Toby is my Spider-Man. I found his Spider-Man very grounded. In terms of Spider-Man villains and just the dynamic of his co-stars on screen, and I know many agree with that, and a lot of people don't. But the aesthetics of the movies we got were great. So now we are hearing he is returning. What will we get in that regard? The thing is about this is that you know, we know that he's returning as um, <clears throat> Spider-Man in the multiverse in Marvel and in Tom Holland's version and stuff like that. But it's all going to be interconnected with the multiverse. But now there's rumors coming about that there's a possibility that Sam Raimi might actually create a new, uh, like a continuation of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, like a standalone movie or something like that, you know? I don't know what's going on with DC. DC's got so much shit going on. Or, I'm sorry, this is MCU. My bad. But maybe, I don't know where they're going with this, but who knows. But, even as a normie, I find it to be one of the best examples in sticking to Spider-Man in general. Now, granted, I've never read Spider-Man comics. I know of his origin. What I want is to see an, an, or, an origin Spider-Man. You know, stop reinventing the wheel with Aunt May raising him, essentially. Tom Holland is fine, but he looks like a boy. Given Stark tech, why? Doesn't it take away from who and what Spider-Man is? He's supposed to be his own superhero that designed his own outfit and grows over time. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him, like, middle of his age, you know? So, it appears that Raimi and Toby are gearing up to be in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I think it's great overall that we are getting past Supermans in this multiverse of sorts, which is nice, a fanfare to those that love the different Spider-Mans and other superheroes too as well. It further implies that Sony is interesting, interesting, interested in a spin-off movie starring Toby, which is really exciting. This is an odd direction to take things, but Sony has been doing some odd things. It is fanfare. Is it fanfare, or what is it, or what is behind it? I don't care. I want my Toby Spider-Man. Also, I was thinking, will it stand on his own? Will it acknowledge the MCU or Holland uh, Spider-Man? Yeah, Batman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could we see other Spider-Man? Not just the main three. What about the Goblin? We know about Dr. Octo, which is my favorite villain, but he, but is he really a villain? An action that created what he became? And wrapping things up, we know that Toby is confirmed to return as Spider-Man already from a former video we created, which was do, which is doing freaking awesome, by the way. I think it's got almost like 600 views. But will Sony really cr be creating a spinoff with Toby and Raimi? I wonder if there is any doubt between both camps. So, take care. Let me know what you think down below. Like, subscribe, and share. Take care. Bye.